All right, people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday, and I shit you not, for the love of God, I could remember what the video was supposed to be on Friday. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is Friday? Like, no, it's not a live video, it's not a DM door commentary, what the fuck is Friday? I don't know! Mm, maybe the series called Fake Card Friday, Daniel? God, I can be fucking just, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back, another episode, let's look at some more fake cards, so... Uh, we got this ancient gear monster, and let's go ahead and look at this thing, because it looks like a monster, and I'm assuming that it's going to be a monster. So this is ancient gear ultimate demolisher. I mean, his demolisher and his damn name, so you know you're about to get wrecked. What is he, level 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, level 10. Earth machine fusion effect monster with 3,600 attack, 3,600 defense. Damn, those stats are nice and powerful. So... He is made with two or more Ancient Gear monsters, including at least one Ancient Gear Golem. So, uh, Ancient Gear Golem and someone else, or two Ancient Gear Golems, but it, it has to have one Ancient Gear Golem. So, that's, that's kind of ridiculous that, you know, with one Ancient Gear Golem and one other Ancient Gear, you get powerful. I mean, freaking Cyber Dragons, all they get is freaking, what, Cyber Twin? Like, come on, come on. But this, I mean, 36, 36 for two fusions, that's pretty powerful. That is, that is pretty powerful. So, let's go ahead and look at this effect and uh, determine uh, whether you should run or not if it is real and how OP it is. Uh, so, this card cannot be special summoned except for Fusion Summon, alright? So, it can only be special summoned by Fusion Summon, so, you know, if it goes to the graveyard, no call haunting it. When this card is Fusion Summon, you can tar target up to three cards in a field, including at least one card you control. So, you know... Target one card, you control two cards, your opponent control, destroy those targets. And if you do, for each card destroyed, this card gains an and gains one additional attack during each battle phase this turn. So, are you telling me that you destroy three cards and you get an additional three attacks? So you attack that many times. Really, nigga? That, 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 so straight up, drop this guy, fucking OTK your opponent. But this card ain't done. This card is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. This card attacks defense position monster and flip pierce damage to your opponent. Motherfucker, are you a 3600 monster that can attack three times unaffected by my opponent's card effects and has pierce? Drop this shit, OTK your opponent. That fucking simple. This is stupid. This is stupid. This card's way, 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 way too powerful. Like, let's just straight up. I'm a 3600 beater that can attack three times. You can't touch me. I'm unaffected by your fucking card effects. Like, straight up. You know, you mean first? No, your fucking spells, trash, monster effects, unfucking affected. I got pierced damage too. You're dead. You fucking dead. You're dead. That's it. That's it. That's it. Drop this. Kill your opponent. That's it. GG. Like, wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Mm 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 mm. This is just disgusting. This, like, really, really. Let me. Let, let, you know what? Let me go ahead and see, uh, what people are saying. I want to read what people are saying. All right. So, monster that can only be killed by battle or by Lava Gloom tribute. Yep. And 3,600. So, you know, hopefully you... Uh, I'm not even sure. Something. 3,600. Uh, destroys an opponent's defense. Doubles atta Double attack. Now, you get to, you get an additional attack for each card you destroy. You destroy three cards on the field. Destroy those targets. And if you do, for each card destroyed, destroy, this card gains one additional attack during each battle phase this turn. Yeah, so attacking multiple times, pierce damage, and 300 in your body. So if that thing is going to be toned down, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, no, I, I personally think that the fact that destroys three cards, including one of your own, is more suited to a scrap boss monster. Yeah, like, that's more of scraps things, let alone fucking anything here. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So apparently someone cleaned up the card tax a little bit, so let's see what they changed it to. So one ancient gear golem plus one or more non ancient gear monsters. I don't know why you would ever use more. Uh, must be fusion summon cast just in by other ways, of course. And this card of fusion summon, you could target one card you control and up to two other cards on the field. Uh, destroy those targets, and if you do destroy, it, uh, gains an additional attack on effect. Oh, so you just changed the attacks, but you didn't change how it fucking works. It's still stupid. Okay, the blinking immunity to your bonus card effect is pretty powerful because I say that this card's easier to summon. Yeah, it is. I would rather stick it with standard ancient gear and type spell and trap during attack effect. But still stupid. <laughs> uh I don't even see a point in playing more than one not ancient gear. Yeah. No point. 
maybe allow the upper limit of destruction effect to be tied to the number of free drones and give it a reason more. No, okay, so yeah, so go ahead and tie it to more to the amount of fusion. So, engine gear and like three fusion shits, blow up all that shit. No, this card's stupid. This card's stupid. Mm -mm. I don't even know why people are you, you know, wasting their time fucking trying to correct this shit. Fucking retarded. Fucking retarded. <laughs> it's like, you're gonna put, this card is unaffected, on a 36 beater, look what happened to towers. Uh, exactly, you just made a new towers for ancient gear, it's like, nigga. I don't even care if ancient gear is like a fucking archetype that hasn't really got any support, it's kind of shitty. With this shit, mm-mm, mm-mm, it would just get dirty, it would just get sacky. Like, straight up, straight up, just drop this and fucking sack the living shit. <laughs> All right, so apparently we do have a, re a revision. I'm gonna go ahead and read it before I state anything, but it doesn't look like it just changed it. Target one card to call into any number of player controls, minimum one, up to the number of fusion materials used to freeze on this card. Destroys many target cards, and it difference. The destroyer gives an additional attack if this card attacks unaffected. Uh, the card attacks until the end of damage trap, this card attacks the so Yeah, it's still busted. It's still busted. So instead, you changed it to you get so many pops to your opponent, uh, up to the number of fusion materials, which is busted. It's, it has an immediate effect. It's just unaffected by a card effect until the end of the damage step. So, um, more like start year effect, which is busted, and it has pierce, which is busted, and it's a thirty-six gun reveal spell, which is busted. Like I don't even know why people fucking even wanted to try to clean this card up. It's busted. It's blatantly busted. It's stupid. So. Just kill your opponent. Drop this OTK and share your opponent. GG. Like, no. Disgusting. 3600 beater unaffected by fucking shit. Like, mm -mm. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday, which I actually remember it's Fake Card Friday. So, of course, taking my weekends off. Uh, the league should be starting up on August 1st. So, you know, you'll start getting some weekend content temporarily while the league is going on. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.